More couples are openly admitting that they are unwilling to have children, contrary to what has been the norm in the past. Melanie Kaita is one of those who is child-free and now shares her thoughts about the lifestyle. On the whole, having children is beneficial for some people to the extent of which they have them, they want them, and they can sustain them, and they can enjoy them, right? But then I also believe in choice. And I believe that having children is not a default, right? For some people, a few as they may be, and I'm one of those, there's no value in, in it for me to have children. We spoke to some of these people who chose to keep their identity and names anonymous given the stigma that surrounds the subject matter. A 37-year-old lady who says she chose never to have children. Will you ever have a child? No. Why? I don't want to. Mm. First, the choice lies with me and me alone. Okay. If I want to have a child, I think if I want to have a child, it should be, be me deciding that and not anyone else. Yeah. She is aware that her stance breaks with the norm in her culture, which expects that procreation is top on her agenda. Maybe when I go to like 25, 25. but I always did not have that, that touchy uh, feeling no, 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 no. Yeah, with children. Since we are programmed that way, especially Correct. in African culture, we have to admit, yes. we are programmed to be mothers. We are programmed to, to take care of children, you bought dolls, your, a child is already carrying its baby doll. She says her decision prompted a family meeting at which even her parents reluctantly made peace with her stand. My dad, my dad is my favourite person and uh, we've had that conversation but uh, in his words people are allowed to make choices, to get married. In his own words he told me you're allowed to to want to get married or not. But what does her boyfriend make of the matter? You'll be sure there's so many men that don't actually want children. No more, he doesn't want children. Her view is also shared by another 41-year-old lady who works with a Christian organization who made her stand clear during her teenage years. I feel like it's okay not to have any child uh, due, to, due to my childhood experiences and trauma. What? And when my father left my mom or us after 20 plus years of marriage, so the experience I had as a child wasn't a good one. Uh, from anger outbursts from my mom, uh, neglect from my dad. But could she change her mind with therapy? I realized that I had a mental problem uh, when I was a teenager. Like 1920, because my 20th birthday found me in a mental institute. But after that, one of the challenges I faced is you have to open up, fully open up to your psychologist or psychiatrist, which I'm not ready to do since I'm a very private person. So I'm like, maybe when I'm ready to open up, I will seek help. And I hate to say this, a lot of men, and unfortunately, are African men, yeah. control. Oh, yeah. It was about control. Like, how do I peg you down? and put a situation in your life or put you in a condition where I have you and I resented that. It's like, I don't believe in marriage for myself, but I believe in companionship. And for me, because of the way I am, my life, my worldview, I would rather wake up every day and choose you than let a God or a government tell me to choose you. What could be her fears of bearing children? My worries is, since I've never experienced this kind of parenthood, I wanted from my parents. So I don't even know how to be a good parent. So I'm like, either the child could be traumatized or spoiled by me. Talking to mental experts, this kind of decision could have lasting repercussions. We must be intentional when it comes to parenting. So the structure of parenting has now been shifted. Um, gone are the days when, uh, especially the mothers, were only focusing on the home, family, but today they have pushed that boundaries to now to seek careers. So the parenting fabric is going to be distorted, and in so doing, we are going to have children um, who are products of absent fathers, absent mothers, uh, products of single parents. Doing when they grow up, they realize that they don't want to cross the same boundary of suffering, and they choose to be child-free, and they think that's what is going to give them happiness. 
Despite their explanations, many dismiss the community of child-free adults as selfish and unhappy. It's my choice and I don't have to convince anyone of it. It's not a crusade. We shouldn't make decisions based on the society. Because it wouldn't be good to give birth to a child just because society is demanding for one. Society is not going to parent the child. So if you as a person you are not ready for parenthood, it's better off without staying without a child. It's, people don't understand, it's a skill to be a parent. It's a skill to be child-free, intentionally. I am productive. I am as sufficient and productive as every other person. Why should I? It remains to be seen how much the child-free movement could have an impact on future generations' decisions of adults. Bajaj and Anjita from the Population Balance weighs in on the trend. Yeah, there are so many misconceptions around parenting and non-parenting that one really has to dig deep to clear yourself. Andrew Chamagero, NTV News.